if you only knew the power of the dark side. Welcome back to the channel. It is the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McLeod. Now, everyone's asking my opinion. People keep asking me. Hey, I'm going to keep giving it. What do I think about Alpha Destiny's 320, 330 bench press video? <laughs> All right, let's fast forward to the end of the video where he says, I'm a power lifter. I just came off of a serious cut and I'm in here hitting this double body weight. That right there explains itself. Need I say more video is over. Is he natty or not? What do you think? If a person just got done depleting their body of all of its nutrients in order to lose body fat, but then still able to double. Listen, I just went on like at least three different cuts. I know what it's like when you're natural, your strength drops. When you're dropping poundages of fat due to a caloric deficit, there is no way in hell, there is no way in hell, you're going to be going and bench pressing double your weight, all right? All right? I couldn't do it. And I'm the bench press man. I've been bench pressing since the beginning of fucking time, all right? And when I went on my cut every single time, I lost strength. The second time I tried to modify it, okay, let me try to eat a little, do a little something different, eat more nutrient dense. Hey, I'm eating very good. Lots of good carbs, sweet potatoes, you know what I'm saying? Solid carbs, strong, powerful carbs, not carbs in a box. And it was still difficult to fucking bench press at your maximum level. I wasn't even at 75% because your body is depleted. You need to now go on a caloric surplus and get the calories back in. Now, let's say that, give them the benefit of the doubt now, even though I know it's a lot of fraudulence going on in this whole situation. Let's say, um, a month has gone by since he's been off his cut and he's been carb loading but he's been keeping his weight the same then yeah you can get your strength back let's say about a month in a couple of weeks you know give us some time your strength to go back up your carbing back up but if you like got off a cut like last week or two weeks ago you're not getting your strength back in a few workouts say you do bench press three times a week for two weeks it's going to take a lot more than that to get your bench press back up. It's going to take more time. It is slowly, you slowly start to see your strength go up. You're 225, you might start fitting a few more reps on that shit, but you are not going to go in the gym and throw up twice your body weight. He said he's 160 on a cut. He's always 160. I don't know what the hell he cut. If he's 160, I don't know. Whatever. He was 160 lean years ago, right? But anyway, you're not going in, hitting that shit, as a natural athlete and I've said it before and I'll say it again there's fraudulence in this fitness industry and I'm here to call it out you know what I'm saying I don't mind doing I actually like doing videos like this yeah I'll get back to me lifting this that and the third but right now I am having a lot of fun exposing people but these videos are getting some views you people you're liking the shit all the fanboys are coming over here you're debating you're crying oh mommy mommy oh my god Damien's talking about my idol my hero shut up all right shut up all right, if you feel insecure, post a comment down below. All right, I, I want you to. If you feel insecure about this, post your comment down below. I mean, look at this here. Come on, come on. And he's not even that lean. So what kind of cut did he really go on? Because usually when I see lean in the fitness industry, I mean abs. Look at my profile pic, profile pic up in the top corner. Look on that shit, that's lean. And when I was at that lean like that, fucking super definition, looking buff as shit, I was weak as fuck, okay? I was so fucking weak. I looked like I was a monster, fucking ripped as shit. But I was fucking weak because you're depleting yourself. So, shit, I couldn't put on 330 and go in and just bitch that shit right after a cut. Not naturally, now if I had some fucking gear, Shit, I don't know. I've never used it before, but according to what I've seen in the fitness industry, I'm pretty sure it's possible because everyone else is doing it. You know what I'm saying? It's the gear, people. It's the gear. Allegedly, possibly. You know? According to the people, I'm just reporting here for the people. What do the people believe? See, it, it makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. And honestly, I don't even want to bring out the fake weight theory. 
like those 245s on there those look real those other weights those look kind of like though they, they might be real I, I would hate to say I mean, no nah, I doubt it because the way he pushed that up it looked like it could have been real weight it was real weight I'm not gonna say that was fake weight but the way that went up no spotter just it was that simple that easy and he did 320 then turn around and did 330 within how long of a time span you know like give some elaboration let us know how long was it a few minutes because if he went there threw up 320 and then like five minutes later when him threw up 330 yeah something's going on because you're not hitting your max twice like that you hit your max once as a natural athlete you're depleted you're you're done you're not going to go and throw 10 more pounds on and hit that shit just as easy it's not going to happen See, that's the thing. Like I said, when you tell a lie, you have to tell another lie to cover up the last lie, then another lie, then another. When you do fraudulent shit, you have to do more fraudulence and more fraudulence to cover up the last fraudulence. And this looks fraudulent to me. Not to mention the form of Snap City. The form of Snap City. You know what I'm saying? His elbows aren't fucking retracted right. His scapula, you know, he has his stomach up with that big ass arc. Legs are in too deep. Take some of that arc out. Like a bench press for me is using maximum effort. You know, I don't like bending my my back to give me leverage to make the bench easier. Because now the bench is easier. If your back is flat, I won't say make it completely flat, but you retract your scapula at least. You don't poke your gut out and then bench it because it makes it easier. So your upper chest, your chest and your arms aren't hitting the real amount of weight. When your back is flat on the bench, yeah, that's not a proper bench press, but you're hitting maximum you, that's maximum weight all that weight's being distributed onto your your chest and your triceps and your front delts like it should be but whatever all i know is yeah at the end of this video he said it he said hey i just came off of a cut da -da 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 -da. look Just got off of a serious cut. A serious cut. A serious cut. Anyone who's ever cut it in this industry knows you're not gonna have your strength. And that's the whole reason why people take drugs. So like I say, people, when people are out there showing you amazing feats of strength in certain situations, like after a cut? Now, if he was like bulking and training and doing some, some um, progressive overload and was, you know, going for a fucking lift then yeah but you just got done cutting and then you're hitting this weight it smells smells like baloney <laughs> smells like baloney baloney sandwich is all in this bitch i'm telling you people i'm telling you yeah there's a lot of people gonna believe this oh my god I, i'm gonna scroll down to the comment section look at the d writing going on crazy strong bro I hit 332 weeks ago back at 192. Shut your so lying ass up. Strength is coming back. The cut really affected my pressing strength. Uh, it doesn't look like it did. Because it looked like you threw that shit up easy. The cut really affected your pressing strength. But now we're really rolling. Okay, so if he threw that up and the cut's affecting his strength. Then why did Blaha say on the video where he was working out with Omar... He, um, he was like it was like 265 or something he was hitting. But Blaha said, you know, I, I can see that he can't bench 315. Then he turns around a few weeks later and he's hitting up 320, 330. I mean, shit, even when, the, even when Captain Fraud, the fake Merc himself, calls you a fraud, something's a little fraudulent. Just look at these D-riding ass comments. Funny how that 330 was easy and he's just cut and lost. Oh no, this is no, okay, this is a decent cut. Let me see here. Christian Guzman Dolphin. What the fuck? All right, so this, I guess this guy, let me see. Funny how the 330 was easy and he's just cut and lost a lot of pressing strength and people call him weak. Oh. Hmm. It sounds like he's D writing. It wasn't really clear. Alex is fucking beast. Hater's gonna hate. He could probably get 380, 390 bench if he bulked up to 180. <laughs> okay, he uses fake plates been caught before he'll make <laughs> He'll makes well over a hundred thousand a year 
people will do anything to make money son expert i'm gonna like that comment because you like i said man i don't know if he has he been using fake weights before is alpha destiny using fake weights i haven't seen that video if he has somebody instruct me to that video dm me something and i'll look that shit up he goes i want to know what jason blaha has to say about this <laughs> can't wait to see the fake merc talk about this man this is ridiculous I don't know. What does this comment right here say? Something uh, in before fake invisible animantium reverse bands. The room had zero gravity. It was underwater. The room was green. Good job, bro. Oh, uh, he's one of those writers. So he's one of these people who thinks, oh, you're just naturally going to be lifting twice your body weight after a cut. You, my friend, are a nidget. Okay? Come on, Alex, we can see that you are wearing a fake belt and adding 300 pounds to your bench, giving you... Yeah, these D-Riders, they're on them right now. I just got my 250 bench at 17. Good for you, bro. Alfred SC is not a 300-pound bencher. He's a 290 bencher at most. Great job, Alex. Clint O'Gallagher. Oh, shit. Hook grip. <laughs> Let me see. I'm just looking at these comments. I want to see if anybody's here calling this shit out. Really great. Nice job. Haters gonna get cooked. Da, 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 da. Very strong and cry baby fairy. Now waiting for Jason Blaha's video on this. 3:30 ripped. Fake clips. Jason Blaha make a vid three days ago. That you're not a 3:15 bencher. LOL. Listen, dude. With the right amount of uh, uh, alternative fuel sources, right? The fucking bitch 390. David Lee did it. Look how thick Alpha Destiny is in the upper body area. Compared to David Laid. Look at that. He's five foot five short with baby hands. So he's really thick and dense. So if David Laid, which is, you know, he's really thin, but now he's kind of like ripped up, but he's hella fucking strong for some reason. If he can hit that 390, why the hell can't he hit 390? I mean, are they using the same stuff allegedly, possibly? According to the people, a lot of people are saying there's some stuff going on here. You know, maybe David Lays to give this guy some tips on, you know, on what to do. <laughs> so anyway, that's my opinion on this video. Like I say, I call fraudulence out. I'm not going to be up here D-writing. Oh my God, that was so awesome. That was so no, man. You people are getting frauded. Wake up. Don't be an idiot. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I am subliminally in your mind. So until next time, get to the gym. Do work. Muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes. Fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact. Came in you hoes. Who else but mama's only son? But the phony niggas in the world. Say my name, watch bitches come. Now fire when ready.